What's going on? My name's Justin and this is The Art of Repair. And today we're going to talk about a brand new way that you could be holding your micro soldering tweezers or blade handles or really anything else that you need to manipulate something at a microscopic level. I'll tell you what, you ain't seen nothing like this before and everybody I talk to about it is just like, wait, what? And then they try it. All right, so what is the secret sauce? What is the magic? Tell me, Justin, I need to know, how can I make my tweezering and my little blade handling and all my other little manipulation tools, how can I make them more stable and more maneuverable right now without any extra practice right this very moment? Well, this might be, and I, I know I, I know y'all know I love to talk, but this might be the shortest video in the entire Art of Repair existence, and y'all know it hurts me to even do that. I, I like to talk, just like right now. Anyway, so we've got ourselves a couple different tweezers over here. We've got big tweezers. We've got little tweezers. We've got tweezers with different shapes on them. we we got blade handles from every different direction with all kinds of grips and blades and everything like that, but they all share one thing in common. And that, unfortunately, is that everybody holds them like they've never held any any kind of tool in their life before. And even the people that are really, really good only learned one way to do it. It's it's absolutely crazy. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the fact that everybody just holds their, their little blade like this. When there is a much better way that's going to give you better stability and maneuverability when you're coming at things from both different angles of attack um, and really just your general day-to-day, -day, right? Now, without further ado, I'm going to show you this and I don't think I'm going to have to say much. Okay, but I will anyway, because that's my thing. So, we've got our pair of tweezers right here, and we're doing the thing. Let's let's just act like we're working on something, right? And I, I'll tell you right now, I actually feel very, very like awkward holding it like this. It doesn't feel right to me right now. But if we came down here and I just wanted to, to grab something, I've got it, and you know, y'all probably think, yeah, that, that's pretty normal, right? Well, now here's my one change that's going to give me all the extra power I need. Are you watching? Watch this finger. See what we got going on here? This is like Spider-Man. Are we going I don't I don't know I don't know what else to say, but it's kind of like that whole Spider-Man thing, right? Now, the deal is when you hold it like this cuz now like I said, you you probably don't need to be told, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um the deal is if you look at the way my hand is now, I've actually got more stability because it's it's holding on to three different places securely whereas before you can see right here it's just two right and then we've got in the back back here and it's just kind of hanging there right now we can keep going with this right so we go here what if we what if we want to come over here you see the bottom of my hand this whole thing is being held very very securely right I feel much more comfortable in these other weird stances, right, weird for now, then it, it just feels weird coming in like this now, you know what I mean? Now, with that being said, it's it's something, there's, there's something else we need to address here, and that's the fact that I think a lot of people think that the only reason that there are two different sizes of tweezers, you can actually, you can see very, very clear here that these are very different sizes, is based on hand size. Now, let's one-up this technique one last time, and let's take this little one, and like I said, we start here, right? And that's actually a, a very high angle of attack, and there's no reason you can't work like this. If you like it, do your thing, you know what I mean? But we're just trying to open it up a little bit so that you have more variety, more options in the way that you use your tools more and use them more effectively, in my opinion. But let's take this, and we can do the one here, right? And we can actually pull back a little bit. We're actually using tension now to do this. One up front, one in the middle, one in the back. Now we've got a great little set of tension here we can get stuff with. And in my opinion, this is actually going to give you a little more feedback from the board, right? And then we do it. Look at that. Just like a pair. Of, well, actually, it's not even a pair. Just like a, just like a screwdriver, right? So you can actually even palm these things sit back here just like I was talking about see you can come in here and you can have way 
more stability and way more maneuverability. Look, I can come completely flat with this almost. And that's really all I wanted to get across to you guys today. You can use this technique with all kinds of blade handles. You can use this technique with really any of your micro manipulation tools. It's, it's universal. It's used for everything. So with that, let me know down in the comments below, have you been holding it a different way? Do you already, you already knew about this? You know what I mean? Or are you learning about this right now and you're excited to go try it out? And with that being said, don't forget, if you need more stability, grab yourself one of these little guys and you just stick your wrist on there too. We're going to get you all the way where you need to be so there's no shakes. That's, that's the goal of videos like this, to make sure you can get the job done without any excuses, right? Um, so yeah, it's, it's, that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, notify, y'all know the whole shebang. Love y'all, hope you learned something, and I'll catch you next time. All right, looks like we made it to the end of another video. I hope you did learn something today and you were able to take something away from that. Um, you can head back to the channel right now. There's a bunch of playlists if you want to learn some stuff. Or maybe you are ready to take the plunge right now and get all your gear together and work on your first donor device so you don't you know mess things up. If that is the case, head on over to shop.artof.repair. Every single purchase helps me keep this channel alive so that I can travel around the world, keep making these videos, and just... Live the dream, which is my passion, the ultimate art of repair to just teach everybody for free. That's what I want to do. If you want to help me with that, like I said, shop.artof.repair. Um, I, I promise you we're going to have a real good time. I'll see you all next time.